Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah Pithian and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of this amazing boat. This is a Grand Banks 57 Europa, a 2020 model named Lucky Star. It's around December 2023, so if it's around that time and you're interested after my amazing tour that you're going to get today, then please do contact us. All of our information is in the description box below and you can also go to our website, grandbankspecialist.com, where you'll find me and my dad's information um, and also the detailed listing for this boat as well. So there's a lot to see here today. This is an amazing model. Um, this is basically a th an extension to the Grand Banks 54, which I know that you guys are probably familiar with, the 54 Europa, which is built between about 2013 and 2016. Um, and this is pretty much like a three foot extension to that. So there's a lot of great features and benefits that um, are newer that the 54 does not have. And then it also has a very similar layout to the 54 as well. So there's great things and great upgrades as well um, to that predecessor boat that people know and love still till this day. So um, I'll, I'll turn the camera around and we'll go ahead and get started. I'm glad you're here with me today. Uh, stick with me and we will see everything today, including the engine room. I know that's your favorite. Okay, so here we are in the salon. So to the starboard side, we have a really nice large Elsa T with a bifolding high gloss table, pedestal table. The TV, the TV pops up from right here, which I'll show you in just one moment. Then if we go ahead and look over to the port side, we have two Grand Banks chairs. We have an ice maker here on the aft portion of this port side along with your fusion control for the stereo system. And you have like a side table, center table, I guess, in between these two chairs as well. And then you have a little bar cabinet over here. More um, like highball glasses, Grand Banks on it. And then storage, these are little cup holders actually there that stay pretty sturdy underway. TV remote and some more uh, glasses as well. So you got your whole little bar set up there. Yeah. Okay, so here's this aft window going down. Really nice pass through. All the windows in the interior on this main deck level have the Poseidon shade, accordion shades that pull down and magnetically latch onto um, little magnets here at the bottom. Okay, so it extends like right above this back so that it can go right over it. And you can see it from the galley. So you're cooking and watching TV if you want. So nice. Okay, so put that down. There's a beautiful teak and holly sole throughout the whole boat, along with a satin teak interior, which is just beautiful. Um, if we move forward, the dinette is forward of this of the salon to the starboard side. There is a table here, a pedestal table, high gloss here in between as well. So that's great seating for four. You can always like pop a stool or something here on the end if you needed an extra seat. Um, and the galley is here to our port side. So this galley features um, a mealy convection microwave oven some storage. It has the uh, traditional Grand Bank storage above as well and these little push hang down cabinets. <laughs> Not sure what they call those. Um, they have a mealy induction cooktop, single stainless barrel sink with a uh, stainless steel faucet. Over here you have two isotherm refrigerator drawers. 
So that looks like a fridge freezer on that one. And then you do have additional refrigeration, which I will show you. So there's a cabinet here, which features a pull-out system. So this comes, swings over. And this one does not move forward. Okay, that's, that's as much as it is. So this one comes, swings over slightly, and then you can more easily access this back, back one here. And then it goes pushes right back in, closes on up. Under the sink here we have some more storage. This is like your designated silverware drawer, so bigger utensils, uh, knife block, and then um, your GB branded silverware knives, fork spoons. This one comes, swings over slightly, and then you can more easily access this back, back one here. And then it goes, pushes right back in. Closes on up. Under the sink here, we have some more storage. This is like your designated silverware drawer, so bigger utensils, uh, knife block, and then um, your GB branded silverware knives, fork spoons. Down here, we have a designated trash can, which they actually are using as storage right now for other items. Trash and recycle if you'd want. And then this is their bowl storage. And then the last one is just empty. So over here we have a dishwasher. And on the other side, just forward of this, there's another bank of fridge freezers right there. So I'll give you a look at here of the whole boat. Really nice flowing, very open um, salon to galley and dinette layout. Okay, so looking forward, you have two Stid Helm chairs. You have two, um, you have two Garmin 16 inch touchscreen GPS chart plotters. This boat is powered by Volvo uh, D13 shafts, which are 900 horsepower. I believe it has about um, 510 hours as of recently after it got here. Um, this boat is equipped with a Sea Keeper along with the Nyad fin stabilization. It has Humphrey trim tabs, a bow and stern thruster, and then um, yeah, all of your start stops, everything, build your alarm, all of that is right here. You have your autopilot as well, um, along with a handheld. You have your USB ports, your chip inserts, um, your VHF. Really nicely equipped and easily laid out. Um, not too many instruments that you are unnecessary, just the right amount of things. Very simple design, very easy to operate. Um, you do have a port and starboard. Uh, <laughs> you do have a port and starboard sideboarding door here, and over here on the port side as well, and then a chart locker there. So as we head down below, you have a nice rail here to grab onto on both sides. It's very easy egress down. Um, there's non-skid as well on the teak steps, so you will not slip and fall. Uh, right here is your AC-DC panel, your battery battery switches, your generator on off, all that good stuff is right here, easily accessible without needing to like squat in a weird location. <laughs> so this one is um, some storage here on this side and then like your tank discharge, your Dometic uh, tank system there and some bilge pumps. All right, as we head down further, we shall go forward first and see your guest staterooms as the master cabin is more aft and midship. So right as you come down the stairs and go forward to the starboard side is the first guest head. So it's a really nice size, very nicely laid out, has the teak flooring and the shower and in here as well. The stall shower has a glass door on it. And then, um, yeah, your nice countertop here, some storage behind, oops, some storage behind with a hidden outlet there. 
some storage below the sink as well, two towel racks on the back of either door, and then this door leads right into the forward cabin, which we will go out the other way and I'll enter through the companion way so you can see that. Uh, there's also one uh, storage thing up here as well. They tried to obviously to maximize the storage wherever it, they could because you can never have too much. So moving forward here into the VIP guest stateroom. To the starboard side, there is like a full length mirror there. Two easy steps to get up to the bed. It's really not that high. Um, you could even really just get on it um, just from standing. Uh, and on this side, hi, there's an another full length mirror clearly. Uh, some storage on either side. You have your reading lights nice headboard and a hatch above and you have um, like little curtains there that come on down to hide out and block the light uh, if you're sleeping in here and do not want to be woken up that early. <laughs> There's also a uh, Samsung flat screen TV located behind the door. So as we exit this forward stateroom right to the port side is your second guest cabin. So this is a single, maybe a little slightly bit wider than a single twin bed. Uh, you have another roller shade here for the window um, to block out the light. You have a reading light as well, and then some storage above. The stateroom also has its own uh, pretty good sized mirror there and storage below as well. So all throughout down here is also pretty much teak and holly, which is just beautiful. You can always add runners and things like that, but it's very easy to keep clean when it's uh, not carpet, so that's nice. So here is the master stateroom. So this is the full beam midship master stateroom. The berth is, what do they call it, a thwart ship? <laughs> Gotta get with my terminology, but um, it's a king size because the original owner who built it is like 6'4 or something like that and he uh, definitely wanted a king king bed um, so let's close this door here and I can show you what the stateroom looks like enclosed because there is some drawer storage behind this door so this is nice really big drawers for all of your clothes or towels these are little grand banks branded towels how cute love it love to see it those come new with the boat, so it's exciting when they leave it on. Some sheets. Okay, so they're using this as like a linen closet where you can also, if you have extra clothing, obviously put it in there as well. Here you have your nightstand, and then you have a push latch on the mirror here that opens up to even more storage. And there I am, hi. <laughs> okay, so you have reading lamps on either side. You have two large um, opening portholes. You have the mirroring uh, side table here for this side nightstand, along with another um, storage area. And you also have a wall here for some closet wall storage, I should say, not a wall, obviously, but a wall for closet storage here with two hanging bars and a bunch of shelving which I actually really, really like this setup for um, for like closet storage, clothing storage area. Um, I think it is plentiful for sure. Um, okay, so as we move over to the starboard side, there is a large pocketed door that opens, so it's very easy flowing in here. It makes it a little feel a little bit bigger when this pocket door is like a double wide size. So. Um, lots of mirrors as we, as we can see, which is nice because it reflects light and also makes it feel bigger too. So here, let's see, where I don't want to press on the mirror. Okay, so you can press on the bottom. Um, some medicine cabinet storage there. You have some additional storage above. You have your single basin sink here. You have two portholes mirroring the other side as well as like a roller shade there so you can um, cover up that light. Storage below. A drawer for storage. See, it's just, there's tons of it in here. Uh, they also did extend 
this shower too on this boat as well. It opens up with a glass door and it latches. There's a towel rack, two towel racks in here, um, a built-in cubby area for your, you know, showering items, and then um, your yeah, your shower head that comes off, unlock, you know, unhooks here. You can wash your kids, wash your dog, whatever it is. Wash your feet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So as we face aft again in this master stateroom. This is one of the best features about the Grim Banks 54, in my opinion. Um, it's so nice that the utility space is right here. Your washer dryer is right here. You know, you don't have to go very far to wash your clothes or your linens or anything or your towels. Um, it's very convenient. Also has this door to shut off if you're doing laundry, obviously, at night, then you can close it off. You won't have to hear the, the rumble of the machines. Um, and then there's obviously way more storage over here on this side as well, which I can open up and show you. So this is another hanging area for foul weather gear, coats, jackets, whatever, you know, whatever's necessary. Uh, more cleaning supplies, whatever. Here, more storage on this side as well. So let's go ahead and open it up so you can see. Three shelves, laundry soap, various things like that drawers as well you have three of them here as well so honestly there's like not a shortage of storage on this boat especially in this um, master cabin here with the really nice king size bed I mean you're not giving up anything staying on a boat so that's really nice uh, it can be just as nice as your home so let's go ahead and Another great feature, obviously, of this master stateroom here is the fact that it is access right into the engine room. So just in case you need to check something quickly at night or whatever it is, um, or any other time, it's really nice to have interior and exterior access. So this is the exterior access that you can access from the aft deck, obviously, and the hatch in the aft deck, which goes into a large lazarette and then has that uh, watertight door there to the engine room. So, like I said before, this boat has um, D13s, 900 horsepower, twins. There, there's so much room in here. Like, one of the great things about, I mean, I could literally, like, fully go over here. Like, no problem. I'm 5'6", but that was just so easy to get to. Um, so, it's really easily accessible on all sides of the engine. Very, very clean. Um, yeah. It's wonderful. So, yeah, easy access, dipsticks, fuel filters. The sea keeper is right here. Then if we go over on this side, your strainers, your um, your other NIAD fin. Base, really easy. Um, plenty of headroom in this boat. I mean, I am 5'6", and there's at least two feet above me. I imagine it's at least like seven I don't even know maybe eight feet tall in here i'll turn the camera around so that you can see in a second but um yeah it's it's plenty it's plenty of space wonderful setup here um you know the engine room camera and then we'll head into the lazarette to check that out as well okay so this is me this is me in the engine room i mean I guess my five six, my five foot six self extended my arm. Then that's how tall it is. So no shortage of headroom problem access or anything in the engine room. It's uh, huge <laughs> to say the least. Okay, some of you might have been wondering where the generator is at. Here it is. Your Cummins Onan generator. Yes, there only is one. Yes, you only need the one. Um, you have some. Uh, your battery like management panel is right here and then a little bit further back we have this is your oh this is your inverter we also have your Humphrey trim tab control system there your steering you can see another fire suppression system and you have access back there huge area as well so you have massive massive storage here so this is where they're keeping their uh, blue bags, which have all the manuals and everything for the entire boat in it, like the Grand Banks Bible of all the schematics. They have life preservers, uh, life buoy, all of the safety equipment that you need, and 
panels for access obviously are there and then you have a, a mirroring cabinet over here on this side so this has just more storage for various items covers more life jackets if necessary whatever it is you also have plenty more storage here for any onboard items that you do have bicycles anything um, and then there's access here underneath into the bilge and other areas that you need to access uh, for servicing and things like that. So since I can't get out <laughs> here because we didn't come in that way, so it's locked, I'm gonna head out and then I'll see you on the exterior. Okay, so here we are on the exterior of the boat. This is just a really nice setup. We have um, the staircase to go up to the fly bridge or the sky lounge, I guess you should call it. Um, your door here, slightly off center. And then you have a really nice, um, you have a really nice wet bar outside here. So you have engine controls, thruster controls, docking station outside, uh, which is wonderful obviously for docking because, you know, better visibility depending on the slip that you're in. You have your stainless steel sink, storage underneath. Then you have another set of isotherm drawer refrigeration. You have a control for your fusion there as you head up above. But let's go ahead and check out um, the exterior first and then we can go up to the sky lounge. One of the great features about the 54 Europa is that there's so many places to eat and dine and entertain. This being like your fourth one if you're considering the salon and then the dinette and then your exterior aft seating on the transom with the table. This is like your fourth option for dining on this wonderful 57 foot yacht. Um, so this is nice. It has like a double folding table so it extends out. You have a great U-shaped seating, some without backing, a lot with backing. The table flips in here like just like this if you'd like, you know, easier access to get inside. So this is just really nice. And you can obviously flip it back out, have a meal, or you can flip it in, have do some cocktails and things like that. So it's a really nice feature and your hatch for your forward stateroom, your anchor platform. They only currently have one anchor on here right now, um, but obviously you can add a second. And then your anchor lockers here. The second one on this starboard side. It has your chain all the way down. And a wash down, salt water wash down, I imagine, right there. Clean those anchors off. One of another of one of the other really great features is these right here. These are wonderful. They're such huge, massive storage areas that you can actually lock and they just lift up like this. Great for cleaning supplies, and then the other one on the other side of the city here in the forward part it has all of the covers for the windows and for this area it's a really nice storage option. We'll get you a good look up here on the bow facing aft. Okay, so we'll walk around here at the starboard side deck. So nice Grand Banks tan non-skid all the way, really high um, gunnels and railings to keep you very safe and secure. There's side openings on either side through this rail here. Opens. It is open currently. Oops. Let me close that. Okay. Really large cleats here. Like a wind weather protective screen here in the back portion of the boat with this nice tan color which matches the other covers. And then my favorite area of the boat is this. I mean, just the teak looks so beautiful. They had it just sanded, so it's looking really nice in that light brown color. 
You have your bifold teak table. You can obviously add some chairs around the sides and things, but this is a really nice area. Um, I'll show you what the table looks like folded as well. Okay, and so this is the hatch into the very large lazarette and then also access into the engine room. So I'll go ahead and show you that now as well. I'm busy on this side because your ladder. So yeah, this is that same area that I showed you from a different angle, you can see. So, there's this swim platform. So it has um, your fresh water wash down and then your uh, cable master for your shore power. This is a really nice large swim platform. It has a few stainless steel staple rails there. You can add a grill right onto this aft one with the two holes in it. And obviously it has the name, really nice antique, varnished teak there. It has the little cleats on the sides for the tender. And you put it down to tie it on. And it has an aft camera there as well. And then up on the top deck, which will go up there too, it has the safety rails all around, which is really nice. So I'll insert some more photos of the boat. Um, boat's profile because obviously we can't see it great here at the dock today so all right let's head up to the flybridge sky lounge so let's turn around first so obviously i came up really nice easily accessible staircase you have your tender here which i'll have to get the specifications on that and i'll put it on the screen but i know it's like i think it's pretty sure it's an ab center console like 14 feet or something like that and obviously you have your thousand pound um davit crane here you have like a wet bar. Obviously it's not wet because there's no sink, but I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> um, if you lift this portion up of the counter, you have your grill, Kenyan electric grill cooktop. Some storage below. Access to antennas there, which are down right now. More storage, more storage on this side as well. Then head up. You have some storage. You, this is technically a wet bar. You have the sink, you have refrigeration, you have drawers. You have your AC control. So obviously, yes, there is AC up here. You have the accordion sided lines and a Bose stereo system up here. Okay, this uh, you have your LCT over here. Really nice, comfortable size um, with pretty you know, blue marine fabric, which is just wonderful. Uh, have your table in between and then storage underneath as well. Really large windows here in this area. And then uh, two stood helm chairs here and also a second like helm bench option. So you really could get like four people up here looking where you're going. Some more people back here helping, you know, crews. <laughs> And so this is a duplication of your helm down below. So obviously you have your same, you know, garments, you have your autopilot, balance stern thruster, seat keeper control, stabilizer control, all of that good stuff up here as well. VHF, handheld autopilot. Um, I love these white stids with the blue piping. It just looks so nautical, which I love. Really nice visibility, just a beautiful area. So, oh, let me show you those windows because, you know, a lot of people really like the open flybridge, but what if four windows could electrically drop in this area? Would that change your mind? That's just so nice. How versatile is that? You get a breeze, you get some of the elements inside if you want, the wind, whatever it is. 
here in and out bringing in the outside in <laughs> sorry i'm late but that's so cool right that's honestly like one of my favorite features of uh the newer grand banks models is these electric windows so and then they just go up just like that all right guys that's it for the tour today i really hope that you enjoyed seeing this 57 europa this 2020 model i love this boat before i would have said that the 54 europa was my favorite boat and that is still obviously a wonderful boat but with the updated styling in this new boat with some of the more like modern touches i just love it um it's it looks more like one of our newer boats, but with a lot of the great features that people love from um, our previous models that we've built, you know, ever since Grand Bank started 65 years ago. And so it has that same like large hull, um, which just encompasses so much room. Uh, and you can still get that wonderful like 20 knot cruise. Um, you can also have versatility and obviously go down to 10 knots and still have an efficient cruise there as well. And so we have all the engine performance uh, data if you're interested in that and obviously like height and all of those kind of things as well. So if you're interested in any of those details, please do reach out. We can get you those. I don't know them off the top of my head right now. Um, but just the layout, the midship master, the three cabins, the two heads. It's a really nice, comfortable layout for a lot of people, especially underneath the 60, um, 60 foot size. This is a really great option. I love that it has the utility space with the, um, that's just like a, that's a great thing from the 54. It had the utility space as well um, with the washer dryer and the storage there. I think that's so convenient for, um, you know, a master's cabin to have that off of it. And then obviously the access into the engine room is great as well. The engine room being like huge, I mean like, so tall like that's just great for everybody involved less labor hours of people trying to figure out how the heck they're going to get to the other side of the outboard side of the engine and everything i mean even just for an owner operator who uh, does a lot of hands-on stuff as well you really will not mind being down there i mean that's now your man cave <laughs> it's a great area so that and then obviously the extension um, adds like a lot of length to the lazarette, which is just wonderful. I mean, it's so great to have that space. I know a lot of people have um, like toys that they bring on the boat, whether that's like bikes or blow up, blow up, what do they call them? Paddle boards and oars and things like that for the kids or their yeah grandchildren. So that space is wonderful for that. And it's right there, super convenient, right in the center of the cockpit. And then just all of the different dining areas that I showed you. I mean, there's like four different like main dining spaces, actually five if you consider the Sky Lounge, which I didn't when I was saying that earlier. I mean, you have the dinette across from the galley, you have the salon with a big table, you have um, the forward section right on the bow of that dining area as well. You have your aft dining area, <laughs> like so many different areas. This boat is seriously meant to entertain. It's wonderful. Um, just so many great features, obviously like the profile and the design and everything was a little bit updated with adding three feet from before. And then, um, the hull design was updated slightly. So the performance is even better. Oh, and then that's what I was going to say that the construction techniques improved since like the 54 era when those 54 Europas were built into this one. So they lightened a lot of the load on it. And so obviously the performance can be a little bit better as well. Um, obviously with the added stabilization too, I mean, you're just, you're comfortably cruising. If your wife gets seasick, she won't on here. So this is just a great option. Really great all around. Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm out of here. Obviously I love this boat very much. It's wonderful. This is actually the first video I ever did on YouTube was of this boat. This is where we started in our like yacht detailed walkthrough tour things that we're doing now. And um, it's cool because this was my first one and it was a terrible video and I got so many mean comments of people saying, wow, learn how to do like video and all this stuff. It was a learning curve. Okay, now I have a gimbal, which you probably saw when I was looking at the full length mirrors or <laughs> going by the full length mirrors, but we've gotten better over time and I'll continue to still get better. Okay. Um, being on video is weird too. All right. So it's a whole learning process, but we appreciate you guys for sticking with us, especially if you've been here since that first video. We appreciate you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps our channel and give us a thumbs up so more people get to see our videos and hopefully use us as their Florida or East Coast brokers. So um, we hope to see you guys soon and we'll catch you in another video. Bye.